So here we have uh, day five from Bremer Bay, uh, heading through, the, it's a secondary road, but it's a pretty good road, uh, to Box Wood, and then taking the back roads up to Borden. Again, that's a secondary road, but it's all tarmacked. Uh, and then we were planning to do a turn down into um, a dirt road, but when we got to this junction, there was a big sign saying no through road. Um, so if we had time, we could have gone exploring it and seen what happened, but we didn't have time. So we took this secondary road up to hit the main road here, and then threw down the Ch Chester Pass Road, past uh, Bluff Knoll, and then uh, onto the main road. Uh, and then we turned in here and got to about this point here. Now the issue we had on this road is, it's about 50 kilometers in and 50 kilometers out. And we were cutting through this back bit and we were unsure if we could actually cut through there um, or not. So what we decided is once we got to here, we turned back and came down the main road to Albany. Uh, we had actually lots to do in Albany, Albany so, it was, so it was actually a good call because there's a lot of things to see in Albany and do. And so rather than going all the way through the Stirling Range National Park and then down the back roads here, we basically went in, came out and cut down. So again, this shows you that if we'd based ourselves in Albany, we could have done an exploration route round and back and you wouldn't have lost much. Um, but as it was, we had to do um, basically a, a quick cut down the road here, which was not a great outcome, but you know, it is adventuring and uh, we weren't sure we could get down past these roads here. So let's see what the videos look like. The, uh, just down the local beaches having a look, the swell's going off today. And just find our way out of here. Fisheries Beach down at uh, Bremer Bay. This is a very nice sheltered bay this. Holy shit, that's nice. You can see here it's away from the uh, the main the Great Southern Ocean, so it's a little bit calmer. So it looks like the weather's closed in on us now. Heading towards the Stirling Ranges and it's a bit wet. So we'll see what it looks like when we get over that way. Some days it's just not that fun doing the uh, adventure back. <laughs> it looks like this has got a shit in a hand basket. Be, uh, quite a long way to go to Albany if we want to do the detour route. So I reckon the boys might be uh, choosing the <laughs> choosing the safe option. The, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be miserable all day from now on. We had a small break this morning, but it looks like it's closing in again. So uh, we'll see how they go. There's, there's a decision point at the top of the road here, and we'll decide what to do. Here we've reached the uh, Stelling Ranges. You can see the them in front of us. Pretty impressive, Bluff Knoll, etc. And uh, the weather's cleared up a bit, so we're going to stick to this road. We got to another track, and it said no through road. So the issue we've got with the uh, we don't really know what tracks open and what tracks close, but that one was closed. So we're going to continue on this road 
and uh, we can join the main road through the national park later on and then we'll have a stop and board in for morning tea. But you can see there it's pretty impressive and the weather's starting to lift a little bit. So this is us going through Chester Pass, uh, Blathnoll National Park, or still, sorry, it's uh, Stirling Range National Park. So uh, this is a little pass through the middle. We couldn't get through the other track, there was no entry. Uh, it cross, does cross a couple of rivers I think, so that's probably why. But um, we're going to have to think about how we're going to map these tracks out before we set off. Got a big road train in front of me on a little road, so we're a bit stuck at the moment. So we don't know if this track is open, but um, we, we think it goes up about three or four keys and then we'll um, enter the National Park. So we'll stop up there and we'll have a look. We think it's a straight in and out track, but we just don't know. So this is the problem we've got here. We're trying to traverse WA without knowledge of where the tracks actually go to, which is what an adventure bike does. But um, it's a bit painful with the distances in Western Australia because you have to go about 50k in to work out the track stops and then you have to come 50k out. So look, we'll go in a little bit, uh, we go up the top here and round the corner and uh, we'll see what it looks like. The scenery is pretty Big decision made, uh, the guys have decided to turn round, actually they're bloody off already, they're the way in the distance. They've decided to turn round and uh, head back out the National Park. Um, the weather's closing in a little bit, but it's not too bad. And they just didn't want to travel 40k or 50k in just to turn around and come back again. So again, it's one of these tracks, we're not 100% sure if you can get out the other end. And so we've decided to just uh, go back to the main road and back down to Albany. So um, it's a good decision. And this sort of highlights the problem you have in Western Australia is finding out tracks that are actually where they go and how they usable. So it might be a little project for the future. You can see there we're right up on top of the, uh, the mountain here. You can see the coastal plain away in the distance, I think, if you can get past the trees. So it looks a bit sunnier down near the coast. The coast is about 60k down that way. And um, that's where we're heading for tonight, down to Albany. It's about lunchtime at the moment, so we're probably about an hour away from our accommodation. And uh, two hours once we've stopped for a lunch and a stuff about. So we'll stop for lunch somewhere, get to our accommodation by about two o'clock, and then decide what we're going to do 